Hi, I'm Alex Wozner, and this is Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Twitter user FellowWeb, who wants to know what our opinion of Apache Cordova is. For those that don't know, Cordova is basically a way to make native applications using web technologies. Basically, it takes your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript and wraps it into a native web view and gives you access to things like the GPS and the camera using Cordova plugins. I use Cordova for a lot of my web-based apps, but it's not always the best solution for every single project. It all depends on what features you have and what platforms you need to support. For example, a great reason to use Cordova is if you want to have a single code base for multiple platforms. This helps ease the process of making cross-platform updates and adding new features. They currently support all the major operating systems from Android and iOS all the way to Windows Phone and even Firefox OS. The Cordova community has a large registry of plugins and you can typically find one that fits your needs. The only downside is that it may not support all the different platforms you're building for and may not be exactly what you need. Luckily, Cordova has some pretty decent documentation on how to get started building your own plugins or modifying others. So you may be thinking to yourself, cross-platform, no need to learn a new language, lots of plugins, why would I not use Cordova? Well, there's a couple things you need to consider. First of all, you are limited by the power of the rendering engine on the platform that you're supporting. Since the browser kind of acts as a middleman, you won't have a direct connection to the full hardware performance or the entire memory stack. This means you'll need to optimize memory management for things like loading lots of images or doing advanced animations. Second, with community-driven plugins, you're relying on their code to be solid and up-to-date with the latest version of Cordova. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. If you only need a single feature on a specific platform, it may be best to write your own code to bridge your JavaScript and your native code. And finally, to make it feel like a native app, you have to build out all the navigations and animations and aesthetics that native developers get for free with things like a navigation view controller in iOS. Unfortunately, not doing so can really degrade the user's experience and make the app feel cheap. On the other hand, if you spend time to optimize everything and really put time to make it feel and look like a native app, users may never know the difference. That's it for this episode. You can find out more at cordova.apache.org to try it out for yourself. Don't forget to tweet us your questions with hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments below.